All right, so now we're ready to roll with this. So let's pull up the uh, sortable UI here. So let's pull up the jQuery UI site again. And again, this is all we need here. So just remember that and hop back over to Tana. Go into our config folder, open up js.php, and scroll down here. And let's go ahead and just put a comment in here really quick. There we go. That way I know that, that we're still within there. So let's just go ahead and run this. So we need the selector. And this will be sort dash nav. And then we just need to run the widget. So sortable. And now we're going to be using some other options here. But at the moment, this should be all we need. So we'll save this. Go back to our page and refresh. Sure enough, look at that. It's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and style this just a little bit. So let's go over to Bootstrap and I'm going to look at List Group. I think we'll go ahead and use this. So I'm pretty sure we've already done one of these before. But basically, you just need the class of list group and then list group item for each one of the items here. So hop back over to Tana. Uh, you can go ahead and close pages.php. Go into navigation.php. After the ID, we'll do class list dash group. And then each one of these, do class list-group-item and I'll just copy this. Make sure you grab that space also. Copy, paste, control V, control V, control V. Save that. Back over to our page and refresh. There we go. That's really cool. Now we should be able to tell it what kind of effect we want on the mouse when we're hovering over this. So let's take a look at the sortable documentation here again. Let's actually, we're going to pull up the API documentation. So if you actually close the source there and click on this, I'm going to open another window by holding down control when I click on it. And let's take a look here. Under options, there's cursor. Okay, so let's go ahead and I want to copy this, or let's just we'll put this option in here. So let's go back to Aptana, and there's a good chance that we're going to put a couple options in. So if you click on js.php in here for multiple options, we're going to want the brackets, uh, the curly ones. And we're just go ahead and enter, and we're gonna say cursor, and we'll do move. Now we don't need anything after this. If we're gonna add another option, we will need to do a comma, and then another property. But right now we're just doing cursor. So let's save that and take a look. Refresh. Now see we broke it. <laughs> oh, that was my mistake. We need to put move in quotes. Save that. Refresh. There you go. 